Welcome back to Lego Ninja Warrior Season 2. I'm the Blue Crystal Warrior, and I'm the Red Crystal Warrior. Last week we wrapped up Stage 1, so now it's time to begin Stage 2. There are only 5 competitors today, let's go down to the Green Crystal Warrior to see how they must do the Stage 2 course. Each guy's competitors will start off with a tuning forks. Next is the doorknob grasper, where they must climb across the board covered with handles. Then on the turntables, they will run as fast as they can without falling off the platforms. After that, they would have to climb up the same ladder, and at the top they would cross octagon descent. Lastly, they would run across the extended floating steps and hit the buzzer to move on. Before we begin with the runs, we wanted to say thanks to our sponsors at ExtraSoft. They have helped to make this show possible. In return, we allowed several of their workers to represent the company and compete on the show. Some of them didn't do too well, but others almost beat the Stage 1 course. Even though their seasons are over, they get the chance to watch other competitors and cheer them on for the last two stages. The first person who will compete on the Stage 2 course is Joe. In qualifying and semi-finals, he was in second place, just behind the rock climber, who will compete later. On Stage 1, he ended in fifth, and last season, he was third on Stage 2. But will his luck be better this time? His run has begun. He successfully crossed the tuning forks, but the doorknob grasper is much more difficult. It's a long and tiring obstacle, but he defeated it. He has the shortened turntables up next. Oh no! History repeated itself as he failed the third obstacle again! Cloud Sal was in 6th place on stage 1 in her first season, but she was in 2nd place this time. She's shown some major improvement, but will that improvement be enough to hit the buzzer? She's crossed the doorknob grasper, and the turntables, the salmon ladder is next, and it looks like she got stuck on it, but she avoided disaster. The octagon descent is a new obstacle, but she was able to conquer it. All that is left between her and the buzzer is the extended floating steps, which she was able to defeat easily. Next up is Dragon Master. Last season he filled on the third obstacle in qualifying, and that was it. But now he's made it all the way to stage 2. Can he make it to the next one? It's crazy to think that he's gotten this far. He was the first person to compete on this show, and now he's in the top 5. He's working his way through the doorknob grasper. The turntables are where he failed last season, but not this time. Mistakes can always be made on the salmon ladder, but he avoided them. Only one other person has competed on Octagon Descent, but that was enough to teach him how to do it. There is one obstacle left. That's not good. He got stuck, but he was able to save himself and hit the buzzer. Next two runners are rookies. This is their first season on our show, but they've shown some true talent. The first of them is the Rock Climber. The Dormop Grasper shouldn't be too hard for a Rock Climber. The turntables are a different story, but this man has proven that he can take just about anything this course throws at him. He's struggling his way through the same ladder, but has made it through. Octagon Descent is next, and he beat it easily. He stumbled, but can he recover? And just like that, he's become our third finisher. The final runner is the Anonymous Warrior. They said that they will reveal their identity if they are the last man standing. I think there is a chance that will happen. He was in first place on every course he's run so far. Now that the four runners have completed this course successfully, will another move on with them? We have high expectations for the Anonymous Warrior, but he can probably do it. He's crossed half of the course, and the salmon ladder is next. Of course he got to the top, but now there is a new obstacle, Octagon Descent. He's trying to make that far jump, it didn't work! The Anonymous Warrior is out, and his season is over. I failed the third obstacle once again, and the Anonymous Warrior surprisingly fell. But the other three competitors will be moving on to Stage 3, to see who will become the next LEGO Ninja Warrior. Congratulations to everyone who participated. Three of you will be moving on. As for the rest of you, you had a great season. Tonight was the first time in LEGO Ninja Warrior history that more people finished than fell. Will something exciting happen next week? Make sure you don't miss the finale of LEGO Ninja Warrior.